Today is for Touch and Go e-wallet. Let me show you how to pay your parking using Touch and Go e-wallet. First, you launch the app. Then, you go into parking. You can see parking here. Right? Then you click on parking. So you can see now, they ask you to pay for parking. Before that, you can register your car number plate. Better that you register your car first. So you go to settings. At the bottom, you click on settings. Then you can see under general settings, you have vehicles. So from here, you can add your car. You can, uh, your car number must follow your car number plate, right? So example, you can put WWE one two eh two three four five. Okay. Here, my car can be anything. You know, so in case you have uh, more than one cars, you can put uh, maybe your brand of your car, or you can even put uh, the same as your number plate, so that you know it's easier for you to differentiate. Okay, then you can set it as a default vehicle in case you got more than one car. So you add, so it will immediately show here, right? But since here, you know, you got, oh, they show both info, so you can set it to, uh, under description, you can change it to maybe your, you want to name it as uh, Honda City, you know, anything, you can put anything you want, okay? So now you can see this how it looks like, then you can add more cars by clicking on add here. So now you have added one car, you go back and now you can pay for parking. So you click on pay for parking. So you can see your car has been added here under vehicle. Then you need to select the location of your parking. Where are you parking today? So here are all the councils, the Majlis Bandaran, Majlis Daerah that are already under uh, e-wallet that you can pay latest is dbkl so uh, so according to wherever you are staying only these councils are supported okay only these councils here have uh, e-wallet parking okay uh, cashless parking let's say uh, okay you can see that i have used the recent location mbsj because puchong is under you can see here recently I've used Puchong MBSJ Puchong under Subang Jaya. So if you are let's say under uh, example letters also is uh, DBK and MBPJ. So you click on PJ if you are in PJ. So you can see you can choose all the locations that uh, in PJ which you want to wish you could have, wish you are at at that time. You know? let's say you are in section seventeen. You know. So you click on section 17, right? Then you can choose already. So here it shows um, one hour is 60 cent, right? So if you increase uh, the, the duration, okay, if you increase the duration, you can see two hour you increase to 120, so on and so forth. So this is how you pay for parking. So when you click on pay for parking now, okay, oops, looks like I've wasted one ringgit 20 cent, <laughs> but never mind. So immediately you will go through just to let you know, okay. Here you can extend it as well. See, if you want to extend, you can click on extend. Then you can choose how much, how many hours you want to extend, right? So I'm not going to extend and pay. Later I'll waste another sixty cent. <laughs> okay. So this is how you pay for the parking. Thank you.